Welcome to the Best Damn Book Club on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge. That's Davis Crocker. This is Two Eats Reading Comics. And today, Davis, go ahead and tell them what we're reading, where they can find us, and all that good information. As always, folks, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, this week's episode 193. We're going to talk about DC Dark Knights of Steel, Volume 2. As always, tell your friends, your family, anyone who wants to listen to Two Idiots talk about comics. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. And as always, let's get into it. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, so, Davis, I think we teased it um, a little bit last episode. Yeah. Uh, you got kicked in the dick from I life. Got, I got kicked in the dick hard. Davis had a PlayStation, <laughs> and I say had a PlayStation 5 God. for all of what, two months? Bought it, bought it on Black Friday. Of twenty three, oh, so and lost, yeah. yeah, and lost it uh, as a recording. Lost it a week ago, yeah. like tomorrow. Yeah, lost it like a week ago tomorrow. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, lightning bolt. <clears throat> watching the Super Bowl was the Super Bowl last week or two weekends ago now. Two weekends ago. Two good. Okay. Well, I'm telling so, you right now, <laughs> life without football is. Sucks so bad. Dude, it's fucking it sucks so bad. I wake up Dude, on Saturdays that... and Sundays and I'm just like, what am I doing? What the fuck like, if what I'm not going and playing a do? Pokemon if I'm not playing in a Pokemon tournament, like what the fuck am I doing? It's like there I, I know there for like the first three or four years after like we graduated, like I could mm-hmm. not give a shit less about football. Like I would watch it on Saturdays, yeah. I would I, I would, I would, that's because we were living it. I always watched it. Yeah, I always watch it because it was there and all this shit. Yeah. But those like first four years out of college, I was like, dude, I couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give a fuck if Bama won or lost. Like I really, like I, I gave enough, but like I couldn't really give a shit. Yeah. And like I finally in the last two or three years, I've gotten back into like, okay, for fuck's sake, win the game, starting to get back into it. And it ended and I'm like, um, okay, uh, I guess I'll just sit here and maybe watch some softball because I don't really care about bas- baseball. Is it softball season yet? Yeah, it started two or three weeks ago. Huh. Uh, no, I did lose to Kentucky and, uh, in basketball. basketball. Yeah, I got yeah. fucking, by what, 22 points or some shit. Yeah, it wasn't great. That was 117 to 95, but yeah. Uh, I will say the I only other thing get me through is, is F1 starts next weekend as a, rec- like, like, Today, uh, I don't care unless uh, Cadillac gets a team. Hostile, yeah, which man. they got, they got, they got canceled. Uh, yeah. not culture canceled, but F one just said fuck you. We're not giving you a team right now. Yeah. We're gonna grant you the team. Uh, but testing we don't just want ended. More of an American and, audience. Yeah. yeah, testing just ended, so the first race is next Saturday. So it's like, okay, I got I at least got F one to watch now. Yeah, you can watch Red Bull just destroy everybody again. Dude, fucking flop their dicks out and say, "Hold my, hold my beer." Apparently, Max Verstappen, uh, fully loaded fuel car around the Bahrain track, was two seconds slower than his fastest lap last year with no fuel in the car during the race. And his car was know. heavier. Is that good or okay. bad? So his car is heavier. I understand and that he's part. Only and, and he's running fast laps just two seconds behind if the car was empty, 90% lower. So usually they say like a full car is about six seconds slower than an empty car. Oh, yeah. So if he, so if the, the, the algorithms and the mass work out, he was about to set, he could set a four seconds faster, fastest lap than he did last year. Yeah. Yeah. The most so boring it's, <laughs> It's the most boring, but it's more fun than fucking NASCAR. I watched the Daytona 500 about shot myself. I don't know. In the fucking... I went into a Raising Canes, and that new female driver is pretty hot. Which fam- Oh, is she in the 500? I don't know. Was she actually name. racing? <laughs> was she actually racing Cup or Xfinity? I don't fucking know. Su- she Sunday she or drives Saturday. the racing. I don't know. She drives the racing <laughs> Raising Canes car. <laughs> I think Saturday because they didn't make a big deal about it on on the 500. Uh, well. For the cup race. Either way. Go raise a yes. So, all this to say, Reba got done singing the national anthem and fucking Bolt struck less than probably a quarter mile from the house. And the, we, we, everybody around us thinks oh, it was back there in the pond. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Back there in the pond. 
Like, yeah. like our next door neighbor says she could see it from our house. We saw it behind us and the neighbors down the bottom said they could see it at us. So it's like in that mm. little triangle. Yeah. And um, it just, it clicked. The lights went poof. And I mean, immediately came back on, but the TV, but they said she could hurt. She heard two clicks and um, it was the, the, the TV and the PS5 went bye bye. I, I mean, stone dead. I don't understand. Like, Y'all had a surge protector? Kinda? Uh, yeah. The the Google Home plugged into the same surge protector perfectly fine. Not a problem. That's bullshit. Take it turned Home. right back on. It took it turned right back on like nothing had happened. And uh but the, the, the T V seven year old, my first it was uh was telling uh Bailey it was like that was my first one of my first three major purchases when I moved out on my own. It was my TV, my couch, and uh, and Bell, my dog. It was like the first three things I got on my own. It was like my first Damn. three personal things. Yeah, mine was my and iPad. Two, two of them are gone. Yeah, well, that so y'all fucked up them couches though. Technically, well, it's not I mean, gone. They're still sitting in your garage. Well, they're still sitting in my fucking garage. Yeah, but uh, Bell was not a uh, big help in screwing those up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. She would just hop up on them with them, with them out, and just ninety pound ass, just bend the ever living shit out of them. She got big for a she while. Got big. She got big. I was big. like, Davis, you need to stop feeding that dog. Yeah, I got her on a different diet, and she's doing. She's still big, but she's she's just she's not. She's just big. She's not. She's not a, diabetes not big. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I have a busted up PS5 that's sitting. It was in this room. I don't know where it is now. It got reorganized. So it for, it'll probably uh, be sitting in the garage on the couch. And of course, Sony, uh, GameStop has no warranty uh, unless yeah. you purchase the extra sixty dollar. Uh, and then Sony's normal manufacturing warranty doesn't cover acts of God. Yeah. So uh, it's either call Sony and send it to them and get it fixed, or find some hole in the wall to see what they can do with it. You oh, want and parts? <laughs> Jedi Survivor. And Jedi Survivor stuck in it too, so. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of my coworkers, he's kind of a computer guy. He thinks it's just the power. He hasn't opened it, of course. I ain't let him open it. Yeah. Uh, but he thinks it's just some power conductor thing. May have gotten fried and he may be able to replace it for 60 bucks for the part plus labor. And I'm like, he's like, you want me to look at it? I'm like, I'm going to send it, see if Sony won't take it first. And of course, work's been fun. So I ain't gotten a hold of them to make a claim yeah. or to make a statement to see if I can even. Mm. W- w- can you even send it back to Sony for them to repair it? For Lightning? Or to even I, look I don't at know. it? Well, I mean. I know back in the day, Xbox used but, to because they had that red ring of death. Like, I know, like, I'm going to have to pay to get it fixed. But I didn't know if I could send it expressly to Sony to have it fixed. I don't, I don't, I don't just, know. I, I hadn't looked enough into it, but uh, I've told myself if it's less than two hundred and fifty bucks, I'll I'll pay it to fix it. But if it's more than that, uh, I'm just I have a PlayStation and, and I'm just gonna get a new one. Just like at that point, yeah. I might as well just buy a brand new one again. Yeah. So I'm so pissed too because, dude, I was I was grinding to get a hundred percent on Survivor. Yeah, dude, because I, I just got hard. I got it. No, dude, I was like like. I was like sixty eight percent, perfect game. Yeah, percent. Yeah, because those last few minutes, that last forty percent wasn't going to be hard as shit at all. No, 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 no. But like it, it, I was, I was far enough along that it like roped me into committing to grinding it out. I finished and, the main uh, story. And I saw Boba Fett, and I was done. I'll see. I haven't even gotten to Boba Fett yet. No, I mean, I know no. we can't. I've, I've seen. I've seen enough spoilers. He's the no. end of your bounty hunter quest. No. Um, I've only fought four of the bounty hunters. Like no. I'm just now, like I'm like going after them and shit. No, I was. Um, and what's bad is I'll probably never play. Yes, I I, I want the disc out because I want it, but I'll probably never play. Like because the memory's all gone. I'm not. I'm no. not gonna re re up and try to get back to sixty okay. something percent. <laughs> I think what you well, should dude, be more mad got, about dude, I've is still got, that I've still got Horizon. I've still got Horizon. I've got Horizon and 
Hogwarts still sealed from Christmas that I haven't even opened to put in the console yet. And Spider Man too. So, and yeah, I haven't even. I only have Spider Man too. But yeah. yeah. Uh, let's be honest. What you're really going to be missing out on is uh, Battlefront One and Two remakes. Two, 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 yeah. two dude. I, you sent me that shit, and I bought. Well, technically, wet that's coming on Switch. I don't know if you want to play it on Switch, but there. Nah. I may get it just for as much as I'm about to travel, but just because I want it. But, uh, yeah. dude, I'm gonna, gonna for fucking, online, I'm gonna though. do what, what do you gotta do? I mean, you can still play like conquest and all that shit without being online. Oh, I don't know. I didn't play those games. I imagine see, you I didn't to play, play any... against people online. Oh, see, I didn't play any of the battlefronts like online growing up. in mm. Like, so, cause I only played, I played conquest. Um, so you you didn't play Battlefront two, no, like OG Battlefront two. Oh shit! I didn't have a PlayStation, dude. Oh dude, I it think was I on had PlayStation. A... Yeah, it was on PlayStation. At least the friends oh, I, I thought had it had was it on PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh, I thought it came out for everything back then, but oh, it... hmm. Either way, dude. I didn't if... get a lot of new games back then, dude, you need to get it. It's there's some old, well, see, the problem is, is for you, it may not be as much nostalgia. Like for me, I'm going to get it because I mean, of the nostalgia. Game, so. Dude, it's so much fun. The fucking yeah. global galaxy, global conquest. You start out with one ship and you can determine like how hard you want the other team to be. I think they will only go up to three ships, like capital ships. And like, you mm-hmm. have to jump from planet to planet, taking, uh, the planets back, mm. uh, you get resources. The resources can either buy you more capital ships that you can start like on the opposite side of the galaxy to try and take a capital ship. Uh, if you fight capital ship, capital ship, you fight in space. Uh, then you have to fight. Sometimes you had to fight a ground assault to get to space. Dude, it's, it's, oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> and it's nothing. It's nothing that the new battlefronts got created that they created at all. Like, because when they came out, I was like, okay, we're just getting like the new version of like that. Yeah. Nah, we didn't get, we didn't get, it was all just no, a fucking, uh, an online, uh, it was an online circle jerk and painted you got in Battlefield bullshit. And with the Star Wars skin on it. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a fucking online pay to play circle jerk. And it was just like, cool. I am excited apparently uh, next year's 2025's Call of Duty. Is rumored to be a direct sequel to my favorite Call of Duty of all time, Black Ops Two. Really, I'm very excited. Well, I keep seeing, uh, I haven't seen that, but I keep seeing teased a new Star Wars open world game coming out. Yeah, we saw. Uh, we've talked about that. You have to play. Yeah. some chick. Though I don't know. Yeah, you're playing. You're playing as like a. Which you're not I, a rebel. You're just me. like a scavenger. No, I don't care. Yeah, about that. but I mean, it's I like your Love Horizon. But uh, yeah, I do. But when I heard Star Wars Open World game, I was like, "Oh, I'll get to create my own character." And yeah. Maybe like you can be like a no. kind of like almost a, like the like the new Assassin's like Creed Skyrim or something like that. Oh, and you got to pick yeah. like oh well, you get to pick your like alien race, and or yeah. and then eventually maybe you join the Jedi, maybe you join the Empire. I don't know. See, to to do like what you want to do, you need to go play yeah. uh, Knights of the Old. Like that's what that's like the Knights of the Old Republic game is based off of. Oh. It's like you create a, but it's a PC. I don't think you can. Yeah, it's only PC. I feel like um, that's getting remade though, isn't it? It is. I got it. Or one one of them is getting remade. I don't know if they're re like making more content for it, oh, or no. just completely like like remaking remaking it. it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's the premise of of Knights of the Old Republic is like you create your character. It's a it's Skyrim but PC version. Oh, that's and cool. Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think you can go as like, you know, Skyrim, you could pick like, you can end up doing like six different factions for one character. Yeah. You be an assassin, you can be the mm-hmm. whatever guild, you can be another guild. Like, I think when you do the knights, it's like, you get your character, you could be like a bounty hunter and a Jedi, or a smuggler and a Jedi, or a smuggler and a bounty hunter. Like, you can pick like, like mm. two two characteristics is all you can yeah. get, but yeah. Um, but yeah, the so, game world's getting pretty good because we just talked about uh, in the last episode. Uh, 
NCAA football is coming back. So and maybe, how divers came out. I spent maybe, seventy dollars uh, on that stupid skull and bones game, and that fucking sucked. Dude, did it really? Yeah, it's literally just it's it's all. I thought you were to be like it? a pirate. It's literally just yeah. fighting, just ships fighting. That's all it is. You don't get to like go I, on land and be a pirate or anything. Oh, I thought it was going to be like, like Black Flag from Assassin's Creed. I thought that was kind of like what the premise said, of it. They literally just took the boat fighting yeah. from that game, and that's literally the entire game. Oh, that's it. So, yeah. so you just seventy dollars for that. You I just mean, live you go on, on land, but it's like you're not fighting. You're doing stuff on land. There's like stores you can buy stuff for your ship, and you get your missions from some guy on land. But then all the actual gameplay it. is out on your boat. Is it online only, or is it online only? So, so you don't even like fight. You you couldn't even like fight a crew on land and then take their ship. No, no. Oh, you can't fight another crew on your ship. Like you damage the boat enough, and then like you can either choose to sink them or throw some ropes over and board them. But the boarding in it is just an animation, and then it shows you the loot you got. Yeah. That is not at all what I thought that was being. No. That, that's not at all Me what neither, I thought it was being advertised as. And I paid seventy dollars for that game, and then today I bought Hell Divers because you said you weren't going to be done until uh, or be ready until later. Yeah. So I went Hell Divers, a very fun game that everybody is talking about and everybody's raving about. Yeah. It was only forty bucks because it was Holy from a shit. smaller studio. Yeah. Dude, you know, if fucking studios went back to the forty to fifty dollar tier, mm-hmm. so many more you would buy you would sell so many more games. Yeah. Especially right. when you know hey, like, hey, this doesn't have a campaign. It's online only. Yeah. It's you online only. Like, right. You do this like one thing. Like, yeah. Like I get I get like Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Jedi Survivor, mm-hmm. Hogwarts. I yeah. get games like that being seventy dollars. Story games, yeah. Because because, Even the sports yes. games, like yeah, yeah, there's multiple games because modes. because like when you when you when the producers or like the makers say, look, the story alone is going to take you fifty hours. Mm-hmm. Then there's another hundred hours of additional yeah. content. I that's cool. That, mm-hmm. that I can, I can understand paying that much, but when it's like, oh, you can only be online. There's nothing else. Yeah, that's not a seventy dollar game, no. like. And if you like, want yes, to do understand that, you can go it, play Fortnite for free. Yeah, it's like I understand it costs a lot for y'all to make this stuff, but yeah. it ain't like y'all don't shit. microtransaction the hell out of us. Exactly. Like so. it's, I mean, it ends up pay to play, or you gotta have fifty different reboots to make it worth it. But man, dude, I I'm really that actually sucks because I was kind of intrigued about maybe getting it, but that game sucks. Golly, because I because literally the way I thought it was being like sold was like this is a Assassin's Creed Black Flag yeah. but you spend 90% on the ship and then you can fight hand to hand like I, I like oh, no. it's you the ship aspect of Assassin's 99% Creed 99% but it's just on the ship yeah that's all oh, it is fuck that shit yeah it's like go that. here sink this ship so it's come back go there sink that ship come back you ever seen the ads on YouTube or on like just random places the mm-hmm. World War 2 battleship game yeah like uh warships yeah, but that's like on your I think phone. It's like warships. It? But yeah, 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 that game. But it's just that uh-huh. put on the PS5 with a uh, little more animation. I didn't play any of those games. So. What well, those games are literally you just control your ship, shoot at another ship, and then uh, upgrade yeah. your stuff. Yeah. Like you, like that's it. You just shoot, mm-hmm. upgrade, shoot, upgrade. Yeah. Um, but just for future reference, that was my shit list. So. Yeah, I, I can. I, yeah. Yeah. I definitely um, put that on the shit list too. But we did read a book this week. Woohoo! We read. Oh, I gotta show you. I don't know. I don't think I Ooh, told you about oh, these. You, did you get the hard copies? Yes. Cheers. So here is volume one. Yeah. Nice. Super thin. Like it's very they thin. They should have combined these into one. So and like, made a deluxe edition. Yeah. Yeah. But then volume two. Because, like. I'll go ahead like and say, they're... like at the end of this, because I saw I saw the hard copies at Christmas, and I mm. didn't have the money to buy it for myself, and I also yeah. put it on my, I also put it on my, hey, somebody get me this list, and no one got yeah. it, and then I hadn't gotten it. Yeah. 
Yeah. But the um, way the sizes are, the way the sizes of them are, yeah. I thought they were going to be like, when, like at the end of this, it says the end. There are cliffhangers that, yeah. like, they could, they could go continue the story. Yeah. But the way they end it is like, okay, this run is over. But the way those mm-hmm. hardcovers look, I like the way they are is like, oh, well, they were getting ready to do like three or four of them. Yeah, and then make an omnibus out of it. But just having two, they're very small for just two volumes. Yeah, I feel like if you would have combined them, it would have been the same size as like that uh, last Ronin Ninja Turtle book, and that yeah, would have been yeah. fine. But I was like, I'd rather pay. Like you could have kept it's, the it's price. Literally, the same. like you, you literally they're like have... twenty five dollars each. I'm like, yeah, combine them, make them fifty. I don't care. But like, yeah, like you li- having something that just small holding... is kind of annoying. Yeah, you're literally just holding a a hard copy um yeah. paperback um it's not trade paperback but you know what i mean yeah, you're just holding you're holding the hard copy you're holding a hard, hard cover, cover. Copy, yeah. um yeah, hard copy right? they're the same exact size of the batman white not the deluxe versions but the hard yeah, cover versions the regular, of the batman yeah. white knight gotcha so the uh harley quinn and beyond yeah mm-hmm which I still can't believe they haven't made deluxes of those. I hope they do, because my bookshelf looks weird with just like the other two ah, not being deluxe. Yeah. Which, I figure if Dark Knight, though I don't know if Dark Knight's really got a lot of publicity, I could have seen them doing deluxes of this. Well, it would just be oh, one deluxe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, the, the fact, well, my, I guess my thing is, is the fact that they they had enough... They've got to be planted more because you wouldn't just produce two single volumes in hardcovers and not expect to do something later that mm-hmm. combined that combined there was a also lot more stuff together. The past couple of years, they threw a lot of Elseworld stories out there just to see what's true. Started. Like that there is was true. Fifty standalone Batman miniseries. I feel like in the past two years. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, but I liked it. I mean, and then they have that line at the end of this one where Lois Lane is like, yeah, y'all can party. I'm, we have a three kingdom alliance we now have to protect. And they said they've got yeah. the the kingdom in the sea, the kingdom, the sky kingdom. The sky I don't kingdom? Know who that I don't is. Know. Oh, and oh, then, oh, that's Hawk. That's Hawk. That's I would imagine Hawk it'd be girl, the Hawk, Hawk, Hawk yeah. man and Hawk girl. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine it'd be them. And then she said the Yarls and the Frozen Island, the Frozen Isles. I was like, that's going to be a uh, Mister Free, Doctor Free, not Mister Free. Uh, I could, I guess, say it, but like it's Mister Freeze and all them. DC really doesn't get like super Nordic, like uh, or super Norse well, mythology d- type, like Marvel I, does. I, I doubt it. I doubt it's Norse. I bet you it's more just like the Who else Freeze calls people family. Yarls though. Yeah, that's also well. I mean, this is this is medieval. Times. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't think mm. they're like straight up saying like Nordic. Like, yeah, but like that Thor that culture and, is the one who calls their people jarls. Yeah, but I don't think they would see. I don't think you would see Thor or somebody like this in this. Oh and, no, and you yes, won't see Thor. You, you 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 can't have Thor, but I don't think you're going to see no. a Thor esque. I mean, character. technically, I think it's they could have Thor. <laughs> yeah, he is. Kind of I think be right free. Yeah, but I think they literally just mean like the Mister Freeze and all those guys. That's who my first guess would the, be, but it's just like the typically you wouldn't. Um. But I mean, they said they even set up a Justice League. Yeah, uh, they called themselves they, the League at the end. Up, yeah, they set up so much for more that I hope there's more. I I, I, I yeah. do because this was also um, I love this shit. Called that shit being the Martians. Really? Oh, did you say that in the last? At one? The, go back to the last episode, or go oh, back really? to the oh. episode of Volume One. I was like, yeah, that's just gonna be a Martian. Comes Did from another planet see... and yeah. it looks like us. Now, I didn't see it. I thought Did... Martian Manhunter would be the villain. Uh, I didn't see oh, it being yeah. the White Martians. Yeah, and, uh, Martian and I don't Manhunter know if this is me Alfred. being too deep in my conspiracy theories, but every other time we've seen the Martians before, it was the green Martians uh, disrespecting and uh, not being yeah. very nice to the White Martians. And here yeah. they were very happy calling them whites and calling them terrorists. <laughs> yes. They I were. Was like, and suddenly the whites were oppressing the green people. And I was like, that's not how that's always yeah. been called. I watched uh, yeah, the, the, 
<laughs> the uh, what do they call it? Young Justice. I remember yeah, her the story. Young Justice. It was the it was the other way around. The Greens were assholes um, of the White Martians, and then the White White Martians revolted against them. I was, yeah, it was, I was um, making sure I wasn't. I, I definitely caught that. I, I definitely felt like this was more of like they were like the Whites. I was like, they called they, them the Whites. Do they a call? Lot. <laughs> Do, do they call y'all the Greens? I mean, they are did we... call them Greens, but yeah, it's like that's the only story I've heard them go with that, though. Yeah. Um, um, now him yeah, being whole Alfred, thing's... though, that did, dude, I, dude, that was deep. I went like, oh shit, like oh, literally shit. in my bedroom, like I was the only yeah. one here today. I was just like, oh fuck, <laughs> Alfred's John John. Uh, now I still don't understand did... though why they combined. Green Lantern, Joker, and Lex Luthor. Because they kept calling him Luthor. He looked like the Joker in yeah. the Green Lantern ring. Yeah, he was all three characters. Now, if you want to tell me, I, like... I think it was a... I think it was a good way... I think it was a good way to inch, to say, like, oh, yeah, there's a Lex Luthor. He went crazy, and he became the Joker. And which, then uh, the Martians... There. But yeah, like, And then the Martians... And then the Martians are using him and gave him the Green Lantern ring. Okay. The Martians Cause, were using cause, him. Because like, when they're talking, like, you know, when he's like, he thinks he's talking to the ring. Yeah. It's just a, mm. it's just one of the Martians. It's just. Yeah, but um, didn't one of them pop on the ring the lead and use Martian. it for himself? Yeah, the lead Martian did. But I wonder if that was a fake ring. Because, like, that's supposed to pick, like, who, who has, whoever is worthy. And whoever it's just like, worthy. why would it go to Lux Luthor slash. Yeah, because remember. Interest. When one Green Lantern dies, it. Yeah, it, it goes somebody up, and then, and then it just finds somebody yeah. in the vicinity. So I don't know if it was just a fake lantern ring or what. Hmm. But I would, that's that was my. That's an interesting. Up, huh? Yeah, because but. um, like when he's talking into it, or Lex thinks hmm. he's talking into it, it's just the Martians, yeah, invisible, turned invisible, yeah. sitting there. With, yeah, it's just them standing behind him. Hmm. Um, which would kind of make it seem like it was interesting. I didn't think it'd be in a fake ring. I was yeah. thinking it was just weird, like a different idea to it, just because of the way this yeah. whole world, just the way this world is set up. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess before we get too much farther, we need to credit some folks. I know Tom Taylor is a writer. Yep, also, got a writer. Um, I saw Bengals on there. I'm a big fan of her art. Um, or at least she was no. on the cover. What I've got is writers Tom Taylor, Jay Kristoff, and C.S. Packett. Artists Yasmin Putri, Nathan Goodwin, Gooden, Casper Widgingard, Sean Ezek, Azekis, uh -huh. Michael Bandini, colorist Arif Prian Prianto, okay. Romulo Fajardo, okay. yeah. Fajardo Jr., and Antonio Fabella, letter Wes Abbott, and collection cover arts Dan Mora. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Volume one, just so people know, I'm not crazy. Volume one. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, uh, yeah. I'm not seeing it on this one. Saw her art on Twitter one time, <laughs> and saw she had done some professional work, and I was just like, Yo, her art's pretty damn good. So yeah, uh, this is a very fun book. Still awesome. Love fantasy. Oh hell yeah! Now Davis is messing with shit. What the fuck? She's Davis moving shit around. He can't do an entire show without taking a piss break and then something going wrong. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, what were your favorite parts? Well, mine. I think we we've always talked about this when we do Elseworld stories. Is just Elseworld stories alone to me are just just fun. You can do whatever you want to with them. You can have a whole lot of uh, leeway. Um, this to me is is, is using the 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 white Martians as the shapeshifters. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause even in the first volume, you read it and you go, okay, they wouldn't really just kill the, their, these other folks just out of pure, no, knowing Superman and, and what you think his yeah. family would be um, about. They're not just oh, going was, to kill other. I was fully other ready folks. for the L's to be bad. <laughs> oh, I was too, I was but I was still it. sitting there with a little, I was sitting there with a little piece of like, oh, well, it's not them. Something's going on. Yeah. Um, and so having the, the, the Martian, Martian twist was a, was a nice addition to that. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
And then just being medieval, just being just absolute, just medieval, just war yeah. and fighting was fun. No, uh, I'm here for fantasy DC, and they need to keep going with this. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, my only thing was when the armies, uh, when the Amazonians and the storm lands yeah. come to fight the L's army, uh, the Waller, the general Amanda Waller. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, we oh, need to fight. Like your people want to yeah. fight for you. It's like, yeah, but we have literal rulers that are gods, the yeah. literal, I mean, they're, they're literal gods. Mm -hmm. Um, their rulers are gods. Yeah. Why the fuck do we do the normal humans need, need to, to go out here and fight each other to the death? Yeah. Like, I, I like that, that to does, me is yeah. like, I was like, why the fuck are y'all going out here to fight? Like, just literally, just the rulers go fight. Winner takes all. I can see, yeah, because then you're saving people's lives, but also, like, Would I, am I really just going to give my life over to this next ruler just because my r ruler who I pledged allegiance to uh, died? Or am I going to fight alongside them? That's also a good point. I mean, yeah. th this. Because then this I feel like I have some war, sense of control over my life. Because this idea of war is like the medieval fiefdoms. Like you mm -hmm. pledge allegiance yeah. to yeah. a ruler, to mm -hmm. a land. And, and if you have to do that, it's even more, then I'm going to pick it. There's even more allegiance than like our military has now. It's like, yeah, everyone down to the daggum servants mm -hmm. in the field pledge to a ruler. Yeah. And they would rather, they know what this ruler is going to do for them. We don't know what somebody else yeah. is going to do. Exactly. So, I, I, okay. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. And then now I hope, Amanda Waller throws a whole I hope Amanda in. Waller gets some, some bullshit thrown her away yeah. but because she tried to pull that old or i guess she did pull that fast move on bruce at the end yep um so she's still scot free kind of because she by the killed end everybody it, that knew about it she and deadshot go to the martian the white martians mm -hmm. kill one of the white martians because they touch her and she has some demon spell on her yeah, come hellfire. Back. Anyone that lays Alfred, a hand on her catches yeah. on hellfire, which can't be put Alfred out. slash J John John Johns, John Jones touches John Jones. her, dies. Batman slash son of L mm -hmm. uh, rushes back and she kills Deadshot. Right? Yeah, and said, yeah. "How dare you do that to yeah. Alfred?" That's right. Yeah. So, I mean, you have that storyline. Pretty much she created a Suicide Squad. She says she did. She's got... Yeah, she has a Suicide uh, Squad. Yeah. Um, oh, and you have a Ra's al Ghul as... Etrigan the, uh, the Demon. Etrigan the Demon and Etrigan. his daughter. The Teen Tell Titan. You. There are so many... There are so many other lines. Like, this could be its entire... Its own... Beast Boy turning into a dragon is something we should have seen <clears> coming, <throat> but was fucking awesome. Well, what he says... I can turn into anything I've ever seen. Yeah. And one of those is, dragon. is a yeah. dragon means, oh, so there's real dragons. Like in this yeah. world, there aren't, aren't just like, oh, this was his man. Well, there Davis, are real me and you are both dragons. believers that dragons were real. Uh, yeah. And I've seen some convincing they been, theories. They may not have been full on breathing fire dragons, but. Every, I, every ancient civilization has depicted dragons in some type of way. And yeah. let's be honest, dinosaur. And they're two. And they're they're two dinosaurs are just to... scientific guesses of exactly. what we thought they would look like. And if you turn the T Rex's arms backwards like a bird, backwards, yep. it would explain one, uh, why their arms are so short. Two, it'd yep. be because the wings were hollowed bones, and hollow bones Correct. don't fossilize. Correct. So and it would also kind of put a wrench in, and it also put kind of puts a wrench in science. Science is carbon dating of like, yeah. If all these civilizations have have an idea of like there were winged flying reptiles mm -hmm. of some sort, yeah. 
that means dragon or dinosaurs that we call them today yeah. existed way closer into human time, mm -hmm. like like the time of human civilization, yeah. than carbon dating can say they were. Mm -hmm. Because I think they say what the last the last dinosaur uh, died forty million years ago, and humans yeah, didn't way, appear. Way before humans. Humans didn't appear to like maybe a hundred thousand years ago. Yeah. At best. And and those mm -hmm. were like like straight up out the jungle humans. Yeah. Neanderthal. That was as close to close to apes and monkeys as you can be. Mm. So something some sort of winged reptile lived across the world while humans when, were alive. while humans were in and 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 civilized humans that could write stories, yeah, huh? Why, well, yeah, because I think even the Aztecs drew pictures of some type of dragon, yeah, they had dragon, which I mean, yeah, yeah that's not, I don't, I don't classify them as cave drawing, no, I mean, they okay. built pyramids, yeah, yeah, I thought you said cave drawing humans, well, I mean, yeah, I, they also drew dragons, oh, okay, but yeah, it, it just. One of those weird stories is like anything that isn't anything that's pre human civilization, recordable human civilization yeah. is literally conjuncture. It's literally yeah. just here's what carbon dating says. And yes, mm -hmm. the carbon dating can is real. I mean, it, it can match up stuff, can be real. It's also, it's also uh, a guy I've worked with before said, uh, fossils are the exception not the rule. Yeah. So we've only like, we've only ever found like a percent of all fossils that could ever be found. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not even, it's not even like we found all the fossils in the world that and can even just be found. Made educated guesses on how they fit together and was like, yep, that's it. Yeah. And because of Jurassic park, we just agree on what they look like. Well, hell in the last, Last year, they said that um, the T Rex the isn't the. Well, yeah, but isn't even the normal sound that you get from Jurassic Park. It's more of a. Oh, uh, yeah, no. It was turtles mating uh, that made that sound. And then they yeah, played with and it. And now the they're saying, for some reason, they sound, now say it's more like the raptor sound from Jurassic Park is uh, what a real T Rex is supposed to sound like. I can see that. But yet again. All conjecture, all a guess. I'm not a scientist, so. No, I'm not either. I never wanted to be. No. But I did want to be a paleontologist. Martha, you got a environmental science degree, so kind of. Yeah, but it's, uh, but You're my a damn degree is a, a Bachelor of Arts degree. I didn't even get a Bachelor of Sciences degree. So I'm a scientist. You're a science. Technically, a, your business. I'm a business scientist. Yeah, apparently your business d degree got you a bachelor's of science, and mine got mm -hmm. me a bachelor of arts. Explain yep. that one to me. Explain that to me. There is a art to business or a science to business. I would say, well, I guess math is technically paired with science, so yeah. Yours is math. It's just paired with science. Yeah. Business is math. It's not. It's not science. There's a science to it. Eh. Either way. As someone who uh, helped run a convenience store, you'd think you'd know. What? Yeah. There's but, like yeah, there's a whole sure. section of marketing uh, well, yeah. dedicated I, to I, where I, things go on shelves. I can promise you the way our science. little country store was, was ran, yeah. it's not with real science. Uh, well, it was literally just... I had always like here's, I thought here's the shelf space. Here's the shelf space we've got for you. Put your right. shit here. Um, we didn't have no, people yeah. come in and tell us like, oh well, Reese's has to be on the top shelf, uh, and well, you Hershey's know, have uh, to be here. One of our yeah. college roommates' wives is that person. Like she yeah, sells yeah. her clients are the gas stations, and that she Correct. sells their shelf space for them. Yeah, and that's BP, like your new BPs, your Mapcos, your Seven yeah. Eleven shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad's store was literally: if you want to sell the shit here, here's the shelf space. Yeah, 
Like it just came on the back of a massive truck that already had all the stuff and we just put it on the shelves where we kept it. A guy would come in every couple months and be like, uh, yeah, I like this. Cool. Change some numbers and move on. Hmm. Yeah. What were we talking about? Oh, Beast Boy turned uh, into a dragon. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was this. cool. Um, they didn't play as big a role in this. They, like, they showed up. They had a little fight with Etrigan. Well, they're going to have something going on with Raz al Ghul at some point. Yeah. Like, and again, like, that was a whole story arc of, like, oh, yeah, this future, like, the Teen Titans are going to be a problem in the future mm. for this new demon war. And it's yeah. like, do we have this? I, I mean, they is, left some stuff open. Thing? I hope they continue going with it. Because um, I'm, I'm looking right now. I can't, without, like, looking it up, I can't find a date for when this even came out. Hmm. Uh, oh, 2023 was when the volume came out. Yeah. So, I mean, li- literally, I mean, this, this isn't even a year old yet. So, I mean, they may be still in. I hope they do. I hope they continue. It. Maybe some stuff coming. Dude, the. It, they, put out enough, own, they put out enough bad stuff. You would think they put out more good stuff. They put out enough bad stuff. In your hard copy on page one, like, all right, you've got your cover. You open it up to Batman. He's holding the sword. It says Dark Knights of Steel. Then you have the writers. Then you've got some editors. It's your third page of weird cover art with Batman on top of a dragon. That's volume two? Yeah. No, it's volume one. Was that sarcasm? It's volume two. Uh, yes, I'm, I mean, we're, we're talking about volume two and dragons. Do you have cover arts? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's a fuck like that's a yeah, sick ass cover is. to me. There's a lot of cool covers in the back. Yeah. Uh there's some of these people like Oh my gosh. I didn't even see this one. What? Why didn't they do this? King Bane? Oh yeah, that's in one of the post credits that you didn't read. Oh. Fuck that. I mind that. <laughs> dude, he's fucking badass as shit. I read that one. Oh my god, look at this Batman one. Oof. Some Damn, of these they dude. need to make dude, posters co- of. Dude, there's some fucking covers in this that are epic. Speaking of. Hit, they made the Fiddler. Ooh, that's like a Game of Thrones like look mm-hmm. to it. Dude, they made the Riddler the Fiddler. Don't like that. That sounds dumb. <laughs> uh... What else? Oh, yeah, I guess Ooh. that is King Bane getting thrown into something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was, um... um I told yeah, you, that post uh, credit was like a, uh... It was the a, action figure I got from my nephew was the Batman Dark Knights of Steel, and I almost didn't give it to him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't realize that was what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was so Batman that last one, armor. One of the two or three post credit stories was like, uh, Bruce Wayne running around like as like a 12 year old and uh king bane uh runs into his guards the l guards kills all of them takes bruce well no he lets bruce leave and tells him like meet me here if you want to learn how to be a real warrior beats him trains him pledges his loyalty to the waynes because he was a bodyguard to the waynes oh and uh says you are the true leader. Like, you are the true king because the the Waynes were the rulers, right? Mm-hmm. So he is the blood of the Waynes and the blood of the L, like yeah. Superman's dad. Uh, so they pledge that he's the real ruler and um, teaches Bruce. Bruce takes him into the cap, like, into the throne room mm-hmm. and then betrays him in the throne room and locks him in prison and then pledges his life to the L's. Mm. It's it's dark, uh, dude. The way he that's like, another storyline. Uh, he cuts he cuts Bane's like the the juice that gets keeps Bane going. Like this him. Bane broke his back, and the juice keeps him going. Mm. He slices it, and uh, he says, "Strike first from the shadows." Then they uh, when they least expect it, and Bane's on the floor saying, "My pr- like hand out pleading, my prince, why did you do this to me?" Yeah. 
I just wanted to quote Cer- uh, Cersei and be like, in the Game of Thrones, you either die or you win. Or <laughs> Damn like straight. That. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's uh, what her quote is. That's another storyline they could continue on, though, is at the end, they try to give the throne back to Bruce, and he's like, no, I want to go Bruce find my... He, yeah. he pulls an Arya and says, no, I want to go find myself, so... Yeah. Um, go find, like, everything else there is to do. Yeah. So... No, this is, uh, again, very fun. If you didn't read it, I don't know why you're with us 40 yeah. minutes into an episode, but... uh. Go read it. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, oh! I also like how Clark Kent's mom and dad uh, mm-hmm. are taking in strays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah they took in and like, instead also of taking took in, in Aquaman. Yep. Sorry for interrupting. I just um. Oh no, you're good. Uh. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we can move on though, unless you just have any other final thoughts. Uh, the Amazonian thing, like, I wish we had gotten more from either the Amazonian world, which I know this is more of the Superman yeah. and Batman story. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was really intrigued with the Stormlands group. Uh, yeah. Black Bolt. Black Bolt. We don't get to see Black Lightning a whole lot. So. No. Um, then the sun was re reanimated, reincarnated. Yeah, which apparently. Uh, I'm sure that won't. They I'm had sure a king, they tried to do that too, and it's fucked. They yeah. said it was a bad omen because it happened to a king before. Yeah, I'm sure that's not going to bite him in the ass. Yeah. Uh, Green Arrow and uh, Black Canary. or canary. Is it Black Canary or just Canary? Black Canary. Yeah. Uh, dude, there's, like, they, set up, they set up pretty much a world that is a normal DC world. Like they could just mm-hmm. literally run this like a normal, normal DC and I would be happy. Yeah. Well, not the way DC's being ran right now where it kind of ran it into the ground, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Give us, give us all the stories, give us everything. Cause there are so much, there's Keep so going much with it. Be. Just like they did white Knight. Yeah. There's so much that could be done with this. Mm-hmm. Um, you do get so one of the two stories, well, three stories at the end. Uh, one of them's an orphanage that introduces, um, oh, what's her name? Shit, Davis. They read the comic book. Yeah, I know Arkham. Uh, they make a lady. Uh, where it's pretty much showing like Amanda Waller like turning on them many, many, many years before. Oh. And taking an uh taking an Arkham scientist uh in under her wing to help her create uh I guess Deadshot and folks like that. Mm. And then the next one's with uh Bruce gets introduced to his Robins. Yeah. They're pickpockets on the street that they that they that makes bring sense. in as orphans. Although sad they didn't do Jason Todd at all. He's in it. Oh, they didn't put him in the main. Well, he's he's one of the Rob, he's one of the Robins, but yeah. I don't know. But they don't talk about him in the the main, main story. story. Yeah, because he's um, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm looking at him in here. It's it's all four Robins, the girl, and a black guy. Oh, uh, it's probably Duke. Duke. Yep. Yep. That's yeah. it. Yeah, he's newer. So. Yeah, I figured. And then the black girl's bat girl, so. Yeah. No. Bat girl or. There's two. Cassandra Kane? Yeah. No. The no, one no, that was no, with the, the Amazons? One. Nope. It's another one. No, maybe. Ah, fuck it. Either way. This girl's blonde in the in the little early episode one. Whenever uh, you uh, She was. The police detective's was. daughter, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. Barbara's a redhead. Because there's two. Oh, no. well, fuck. I don't know. Because um, isn't there like remember CW? CW had the girl that was Bat Girl, and she was Jewish and a lesbian, but she wasn't Jewish and a lesbian Cassandra enough Kane so they canceled the Bat Woman. Okay, Bat Woman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Bat Woman and Bat Girl. So this is I think yeah. Bat Girl. 
would be Barbara Gordon. Barbara Gordon. Okay. Who would be redheaded? Oh, well, she's blonde in this one, so. Well, there is a blonde who dated Tim Drake for a while, but she did not okay. go by a bat anything. It was something else. Uh, yeah. Well, they may have just made her blonde and called her something else. Either way. Okay. That's it. Wait. I tried to like, read transition it. out of this. Like five minutes ago, and you just kept going. Me, 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 me. Well, go ahead. Well, I've already done my shit list, so that's what we're waiting on, Dave. All right. Well, my shit list. So this week, uh, uh, ta- uh not tag, uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender came out live yeah. action. I've watched three episodes. I mm-hmm. have given, there's eight episodes total. I've heard it's not great. It is the same style as like One Piece. It's got that same kind of like weird yeah. fighting esque style. Mm-hmm. And you can tell like, it, it, it's, it's, you're taking a, an animated show, trying to make it live action. Yeah. You're trying to do your best with like some of the weird animation things that can happen. Mm-hmm. On top of, all I can think about is the stupid live action movie. Cause some of the bending has that weird same, like, huh, huh, like that, like over dramatic movement to it. Like the power Rangers. Yeah. Or they go but, like, yeah, every time. Yeah. But even worse. Um, yes. When the bending happens, it's, it's cool. Um, but outside of that, let's just, Let's let's just kind of rewrite. Let's just kind of rewrite everything that's happened. Um, yeah, I heard. I don't have Netflix at the moment, but I heard they've made Zuko's Zuko's sister, who was not a sympathetic character at all, was very much a cunt in the cartoon, and they've tried to make yeah. her sympathetic in this. And I was like, all right, well then, they clearly didn't watch the same show I did, so yeah. Um, she's already been, so uh, again, as something that's getting me is like the first episode, you get to see a lot more of King Oza, not Oza, mm-hmm. the, the first, the first fire Lord that Sozin, you get to see yeah. Sozin and kind of like what he, like his reasoning to fight. Like he kind of, mm-hmm. you get a little bit of that, get a little bit of the earth King, the airbenders getting killed, which is nice. Yeah. Cause that's different. You didn't get to see that. Yeah. Um, but episode three, we have, all right, you remember Jet, the ones that were mm-hmm. in the trees and all that. So yeah. Jet, uh, the tinker, when Aang and them go to the Eastern Air Temple and the mm. the, mechan- the mechanical guys living on the Eastern Air Temple. Mm. Guys that were in wheelchair. Yeah. Are all in Omashu with King Bumi. They're all living in the same city. Yes. I mean the So an episode Jet and that guy they were in they were in the Earth Kingdom but they weren't with yes. Bumi. Correct. So in episode 3 you get introduced to Jet, the mechanic the mechanical guy and the yeah. the kid that can yeah. in the wheelchair and King Bumi are all living in Omashu together and doing shit. Um you know how Why are they Aang trying to cram get... three seasons into one season? <laughs> well, it's it is only one season. They're trying to cram twenty episodes into eight episodes. There's you only can three do that seasons with one piece Avatar. because there's so much filler. You can't do that with Avatar. No, correct. There is not that much filler in Avatar. <laughs> no. So you're he's going to learn getting... all three. Literally, it was three seasons because he had to learn all three correct. bending types. Yeah, one each season. Yeah. Now, Jet and the mechanic, that is all in the first season, but there's like 20 episodes. Yeah. But that's all him still no trying to learn way, water, though. In no way do those motherfuckers need to all be in the same, in the same fucking city. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Katara's scroll that she gets from the pirates, that she steals yeah. from the pirates. Oh, her granny from the southern her Southern uh, water tribe just had that hidden and gave it to her, had it hid it in her backpack so that when they 
search through their backpack. She already had it. So the pirates are out. Uh, when she the, learned the blood bin. Well, that's season that's three. Season three. Yeah, so like that's episode late. five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, commander Zhao is apparently a commander that no one knew about. That when Zuko and Iroh show up to the uh, fire, like the 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 shipyard, mm-hmm. they're like, "Who's in charge here? We have no idea." And it's like, "I'm Commander Iroh, uh, whatever." Shao. They go, Shao. He's like, "Yeah, we don't know who you are." Um, and like, and they give, he gives us a little background of his history. It's like in the show, he was like one of your main top rivals. Guys. Like he was yeah. like. Like, he was your dad's, like, third hand, like, leading yeah. this shit. Um, you've already met Zuki, Zuki and, not Suki, uh, that was the Kiyoshi three Warriors. Girls. Yeah, you've already met all three girls. The Kabuki Warriors, if you're going that fast, the Kabuki Warriors had to be, like, episode one. Two. The, that the, makes entire, the entirety of episode two was that, uh, was the Kiyoshi Warriors. Um... Then episode three, you get introduced to Jet, the mechanic. You're going to get Boomy. And you so get that means Zuko's the, going to the join sister. him in like episode five. You get the sister from, uh, you get, you get his sister and the two friends he's, she's with. Yeah. And the, all of that is in the same episode in episode three. Uh, and what what's fucked up is like, yes, I know in Avatar, the kids are Why young. Why are they only like, doing yes. one season? Well, they say they're going to do three seasons each book, but they're putting yeah. they're already putting book two stuff in season one. Um, what else? Oh, the all the characters live action are like kids. Like yeah. everybody's got like chubby kid faces, and like no mm. one's like chiseled and like like fighting warrior shape. These are all like yeah. first world middle schoolers yeah. that are running this shit, and it is. I mean, Aang like, should this, look like. I mean, they Aang, should all be like Aang, 15, 16, and 17. Like, Aang. Aang looks like Aang. Now, Aang looks exactly like the live action movie. Say, Aang, Aang and. Uh, God dang it. How am I forgetting her name? His girlfriend. Sokka's little sister. Oh, uh, Katara. Katara. No, not Katara. Uh, yeah, yeah, Katara. yeah, Katara. Yeah, Katara. Yeah, because I Korra keep wanting is, to say Korra. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah, Korra is the next Aang one. Aang and Katara, and then, like, I think Zuko is still younger than Zuko Sokka. is supposed to be, like, the age of Sokka. Okay, well, they should be, like, 17. The other two should be, like, 15 or 16. No, no, no. They're running them, like, Aang, Aang and Katara, Katara are, like, 12-year-olds, and Zuko and... uh. Soccer are like 14, 15. Yeah. The I age, can't remember. Because like, the, they say his age somewhere. He's always, he's like, I'm 115 or something. I, I well, feel yeah, like it was 112. 15. He's 112. Oh, then maybe it is 12. Okay. Yeah. But my thing is, is like, when this was being produced, it's like, this is for the generation that watched it. Like, we are making yeah. this for y'all. It, it, it's it's just a fucking, it's a, it's a middle schooler show. Yeah. It's, well... Sokka, oh, Sokka is not Sokka. Avatar doesn't really get deep until, like, the very end of season one into season two. But, but Sokka isn't Sokka. He's, they he's slow. said that before. Yeah, he's he's dim-witted. He's not even, like, a good tacticianer. Yeah. It's just, it's like you have the animated fucking show. To yeah. me, so like watching One Piece. Well, that's my felt thing. Like some one, of these one, are watching literally... One Piece felt like One Piece, and you even agreed. Like, yes, they cut out a lot of shit. Like, okay, they did. it felt like One Piece, but I it just, felt like One Piece. I enjoy all of One Piece, and them cutting stuff out was just like okay, but it didn't change anything, right? Majorly, nothing important. Correct. Where There's like this is little already nitpicky stuff that I nitpicked, but yeah, this is already changed. Oh, you know how Aang goes and meets uh Fire Lord, the Fire Avatar. Mm. You know, kind of like how season one, that's like kind of yeah. the whole point is like he needs to find him. To like he's yeah, the he one had to, to go. Kinda... Like the sun had to meet up with 
the yeah. window Summer in that room. Solstice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he Kiyoshi. warned him of the he warned him of the eclipse. That was the best gun time yeah. to beat him. No, 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 the comet. They found the eclipse. The comet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, apparently, Kiyoshi is now his guide in in this instead of uh, the fire bender. Like oh, he's so already you know like, Zuko's not going to teach him how to fire man? I don't know. Like, I, dude, at this point, at this point, I don't know who the what the fuck's going to do anything. I don't. You need to like it's so bad. I don't want you to watch it. Like I'm not like happy. I mean, with no, it. we already have it in its perfect form. So, but if you want to watch Avatar: is like, The Last Airbender? Go watch Avatar: The Last Airbender. Like, why the fuck are you producing this if you're just gonna fucking change everything? Why? Like, what's the point of doing this? We know y'all if you're got then a just gonna change everything, huh? We know y'all don't really give a shit about budget that much. <laughs> exactly. Why? And it's not like the animation's bad or yeah. the bending's bad. It's not great, but I'm, I can live with mm-hmm. that. It's it's an animation thing trying to go to live action. Yeah. But I imagine but the places you have to go changing. to film this are kind of crazy. Yeah, but they're literally changing like pure story story points. It's yeah. like, you don't have to change the story points at it all. It sounds like they literally went, hey, One Piece crammed 35 episodes into eight. Uh, why can't y'all? And you're like, yeah, one piece has a bunch of stuff you can cut. <laughs> you can just cut like like literally one arc is like eight episodes. And Avatar, I mean, every episode, early, yeah, no, 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 not arc, early, I mean, on, like, yeah, but like nowadays, arcs are like yeah. two years long. Yeah, but to me, it's like why the fuck? Like especially like Jet and the mechanic. Like, the whole point of the mechanic was that he was in the Eastern Air Temple. Yeah. Never was like oh, and now apparently he's giving information to the Earth Kingdom, helping them. But he's a spy for the Fire Nation. In the other one, it's that like was oh no, a thing. he was. Yeah, in the other one, he's like oh no, he was just a Fire Nation. He was just giving information to the Fire Nation. He was a Fire Nation employee. Oh yeah, like, he I was guess never the, the doctor was. Yeah, it's like he yeah. never was helping the Earth Kingdom at yeah. all. Mm-hmm. But they're all in Omashu. Let's not worry about Omashu or talk about that whole story arc, but we're just going to cram three have the characters. cabbage cart guy? Yeah, he didn't even finish. They they hit him before he finished his thing. Like, they hit okay. the cabbage cart. Yeah. And you know, he goes, my cabbages! Yeah. Well, he goes, my cat, and they hit him. Like, somebody runs into him, and he doesn't even finish his fucking, the what whole the thing. Fuck? Well, dude, then I'm officially I'm, out, so. Dude, it, it's, and it is too kitty. It's like the 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 actors are too young. I, I, I got too some bad young. news for you. <laughs> what? Uh, Avatar is especially that first season is very much a kid show. No, no, no. I know, I, I know it is, but the actors are they're too young of actors. They 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 look like like middle schoolers. They're chubby. They don't. They're not cut. They're not ripped. They're not body shaming the Avatar crew. Okay. Dude, I'm, I just, it, it's just like, I can get over, I can get over that, but it's like, why the fuck do we have to change the story? You have the fucking story. You don't need yeah, to. Yeah, they shouldn't have touched the story at all. It, it was fine. There's, there's no, like, literally, just take the animation, do what you can in live action, and just tell the story again. Yeah. That's it. Just retell the story. It's not hard. Just m- maybe move some pieces here and there, but just fucking tell the story like it was. Yeah. Oh, oh, when you first meet Aang in the air temple, he's flying without his glider. Yeah. Saw not, that. not just hopping, you know, not, not just hopping like from mm-hmm. bit, like where he bends and just hops. Yeah. Oh no, he's stand, he's sitting in the air, gliding around and flying and actually moving in, a, in the air to places. And it's like, Aang was not that powerful. No. Aang could not just float in, like fly in the air. No. Oh, and the kids apparently hated Aang the entirety of his life in the Air Temple. Well, they weren't nice um, to him in the show. They were nice to him up until he became the Avatar. Yeah. Up until that, he was loved. Then and he he's was like, weird. oh, yeah, they feared me. They feared me from when I, was, when I first even started bending because I was too powerful. Like, I had no friends growing up. I was like, oh, no, that's not right. What about that boomy guy you're friends with? Yeah. 
I do. It's 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 like why? Like then that's what I'm worried about. Like with the Harry Potter show that's coming that they keep teasing. It's like, oh, this is gonna be a book. This is gonna be a TV remake of the book. Perfect. It's like you're not gonna do well, it. If they actually stick with the book, yeah. it would. They're well. not going to though. This PC world, they're going to change something, turn somebody to something else, make this storyline that fit this narrative. Nothing it's, you it's... described in Avatar had anything to do with it being PC, other than the fact. Oh no, they no, did no, not no. make no. Uh, uh, Sokka. Apparently, they made him not as misogynistic, but that yeah, gets but resolved you know, in point... like issue like five. So I don't know why. Yeah, they the whole point of it. Sokka being a misogynist is for when he got to Kyoshi, the Kabuki they knocked his ass, kick yeah. his ass. Yeah, they knock him back down. And then he has to dress up like a girl to try to learn how to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, that whole fight scene where he learns, he's pretty much, that. him and um, the girl are pretty much just having a a weird make-out session. And weird touchy-feely, first time we've ever touched another sex fight. All right, Davis. Um, We get it. Your shit list is Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, It's bad, man. Okay, next week... We're going back to Manifest Destiny. We're going to finish that up. Um, We also have a quiz. Um, Yeah. I have a a question for you, but we can save it to next episode. Um, Okay. Yeah. So next week, I guess it's volume six of Manifest Destiny. That is correct. Cool. Uh, And we will see you all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.